Hey guys, uh, welcome to another video. Today we're going to take a look at the software, perfectly clear video that claims to use AI to correct the light and color of your video. Well, it did not say anywhere that it does 4K videos, just to begin with, but we're going to try that in a few moments as well. And uh, here, but first, I'm just going to drop a regular video, not 4K video and see what it can do for it. It's just some kitties video. And uh, here's the video footage of the kitties. <laughs> Interesting, that's where Omnitech channel is at right now, right? And as I see here, it actually corrects the light and color quite a lot. As you see, the difference is quite huge here. And uh, here is the auto that you can remove this line here. And uh, let me put the fix it to the max or the minimum so it looks like this is the light but it applies the light actually pretty good if you look at the shadows here and the contrast where the contour of the shadow is it does a pretty good job compared to the other side that doesn't have anything as you see look at how it separates the objects that part I actually like and uh, let me put the color a little bit lower okay it doesn't seem to be changing a lot it kind of give us gives it like a sunshine style i would i would say that you can uh mess on with a camera and uh let me click play as you see the difference is quite huge actually as you see this uh kitty here for example is half kind of darker and half brighter and this is a very very interesting uh effect or fix that this one does that's actually very interesting and it does it really quick in real time but this one i would give the software a real real big up and some of the kitties didn't even have their eyes open yet so here they are just having fun and okay so now let me uh save it and see if it can save it and how it comes up as a final result and in here it says the type of video is right here blah, 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 3840 by 2178 which is actually quite quite high and uh ai fixed video test we're gonna name it and we're gonna click save and wait for it to transcode the video and we'll see you in the next minute Finally, the video has finished uh, transcoding and it looks like it's done. This might be our video now. Okay, let's uh, see where the file is. And uh, this should be the file right here. Okay, and uh, <coughs> this should be our file right here. AI video test, 5.9 gigabytes. Did it just bump up the quality too? somehow it looks actually better looks way way better as you see here let me put it a little bit uh smaller get rid of this folder and put this back how it that's how it was and that's how it is now and it, it looks a touch better i would say not anything tremendous but definitely it helps is it worth it i think it's okay but i'm not sure if i believe the ai part of it it looks to me more like uh simply adds uh, uh some some kind of tone and increases the light and contrast which could be achieved with most of the video editors today and uh it, it works in the end if you're not very familiar with video editing and how to mess with the colors and tones and all that stuff this one kind of does it for you if you're looking for an older video or a video with very low quality this does the job. Now to the point that I said in the beginning, I'm gonna drop a 4K video and see if it can do it. Because in the comments, I saw some people giving reviews to this app that were less than pleasing. And now I'm gonna try this one here that I uploaded a while ago. And uh, let me drop it in. It's a 4K and it's suffering to do a live rendering of a 4K video, which is, uh, it's shameful because there are sometimes videos that need that extra touch and if we move the slider a little bit sometimes it clears 
flash top, but it just for some reason doesn't work very well. And uh, let me see if we can save it or if we bump the light down. Nope, nothing really helps it. And the video is actually as required, as you see right here. Accepted file formats are MP4 and MOV, and this video is an MP4. Go to properties, and as you see right here, it is an MP4 file, just standard MP4. And let's see if we can save it. Okay, MP4 video fix, and hit save, and it says save failed. And I tried it many times, and it did exactly the same with MP4 with uh, 4K videos, and for some reason, just doesn't do anything with uh, 4K videos. But you have, uh, if you have MP4 videos or mob videos that are filmed mostly with a cell phone, it seems to be working quite okay with it. But otherwise, you're kind of out of luck. And uh, I don't know what to say. You guys be the deciders of how perfectly clear this app might be. And maybe there's a use that you can do myself. I keep doing the same stuff with the uh, Wondershare film or it's been working good for me. So I have no reason to really change it for now. I'm not sponsored by any of these softwares. I just like to test softwares time to time. And with that said, I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something from it. And we'll see you next time. Bye.